Hello everyone and welcome to the final video in the series Zero to Hero with Python. In this video, I will be telling about your final capstone project and don't worry, it's a very simple project. What exactly is a permutation? First of all, I would like you to know this before <laughs> heading up, heading into the project. So a permutation of a set is loosely speaking an arrangement of its members into a sequence or linear order. This definition was given by Wikipedia. Okay, so now let's discuss the details of your final project. So the requirements are very simple. I would like you to make a program which takes a list of numbers as input from the user. Then the program list adds these items to a list internally. I leave it up to you how you how you manage to do the steps one and two. Then the program calls a function which it's declared within the same file and the list provided by the user is given in as, as an argument. The function then, then does some internal processing to return you a nested list with the different permutations of the input list in the list of lists. Okay, and this project will cement your concepts of the data structure list, a very important data structure in Python, of functions, of loops, and of taking inputs from the user. Okay. So I would like you to do this project on your own. Try not to take any help from the internet or your friends or your books. First, just try to do this project in independently. Okay, so now I will show you the solution. I solved this program in a very specific way and your my method might differ, but the eventual answer will be the same. Okay, so let's go to the solution. Okay, and this is how I have solved the solution, solved the problem. In the first line, up till line number nine, I have just declared a function called permute, which will return me the permutated results of the input list. The argument name is called nums here. So what I'm doing is, is I'm asking the user for a number of list, for a number, <laughs> for a list of numbers, and each element in this list has to be separated by a space because the user can't input a list another way, right? Then I will split the string, which is input by the user. If you would remember, I told you my first or second lecture that the input function by default returns you a string. And if a string is returned, you can perform string operations on the same. If you do the string dot split, it will split the string into many different lists, uh, strings, sorry, based on the space character. Then I'm just printing the original list as given by the user. And finally, I'm printing on line number 14. I'm just printing the list of permutations. Okay, just let me show you it's working on a shell. So I have called the same project name permutations.py. And if I run this, I'll just enter one, two, three, four, and five. If I press enter, so as you can see, a lot of different permutations are there because you have the input list, which is, which has five elements. Okay. So that's all I had for you in this capstone project. And I would like you to implement it yourself and not take any help from anyone else. And I'll see you in the next series. I hope you enjoyed learning Python with me. Thank you and bye.